Soldier Boy by Nell Lyshen. Light comes through the crack between the curtains and I lie here, a thin sheet over me. The July heat in the room, the first birds outside. I can't sleep, not today. January 18th. John. I'm sitting here in the dark and cold and I can't quite believe you've gone. And I don't even know where you are. On a plane? Sitting, waiting, your kit bag between your feet. Your shoulders dropped, tired. Lewis is asleep in our bed. Just this once, I said. He keeps stroking my stomach, kissing it. I feel fine. No sickness at all, though the ginger biscuits help. I'm in bed writing this. But don't get excited. I'm in my thick pyjamas and your walking socks. The bed still smells of you. January 20th. Hi, Claire. You think you know what hot is till you come here. I just keep sweating. And whatever I do, I can't cool down. I drink loads, but it don't help. The bugs are doing my head in. I was going to email you, but the power was down. It keeps happening. It stinks, too. Open sewers and the sound of the prayers from the minarets. <sighs> just got to get used to it. I don't ever want to go to a hot country again. Never. And I never want to see sand again. Never. Next holiday, it will have to be Iceland. I keep thinking of Spain. And you in that green bikini on your front with the top off. I want to come home already. Tell Lewis I'll have his photo with me all day and night. Next holiday, we'll have two of them to take. Another boy, do you reckon? Don't do too much. I know what you like. We had a laugh yesterday. There are some terrible jokes already. Oh, Lewis. Hello, Sleepy. I love you. How did you get in here? I told you not to. Got to stop this. Are you listening? No. Lewis. <laughs> Come on. Up the get. Where's your shorts? Shut up. We don't need to listen to that anymore. Right. Come on then. That's it. Now, are you listening? That is your last time in here, okay? No. March 15th. Dear Claire, in another power cut, so I'm writing in the dark. I got one from you yesterday, and one from Mum, who said you'd been to see her. Thanks for that. She seems okay in the letter. Her leg's getting better, she says. We're all a bit lightheaded today. I haven't slept for 48 hours. I'm back now. I can get my head down. But my ears are ringing. And I thought I'd write before I try and drop off. I think I'd give another 48 hours sleep to have you in my bed with me. Our bed there, I mean. Not here with all this lot. You sure you still want that weekly phone call? I could call every day if you liked. Can you send some coffee, mate? And salt and vinegar crisps? Send some chocolate. It don't matter if it melts. It tastes the same. Hello? Yes, speaking. Oh, hi. <laughs> I thought you were someone else. No, you just sounded different. Mm, I know, I couldn't sleep. They said it's going to be like this next week as well. Look, uh, can I call back? I'm off to work and I have to drop Lewis off. I know, I'm trying to keep calm. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Right, go and get your sun hat. Come on, Mummy's in a hurry. And your bag, where's that? Um, I've got it. April 28th. Nearly May. Then June. Then July. The midwife's pleased with me. Says everything's fine. 
says I'm to take it easy in the afternoons, so I'm on half days now, and worker found me a regular to go to, so I know what I'm doing. Can't stop thinking of you. Apparently it's quite common in pregnancy to be a bit obsessed. Maybe it's a good job you're not here. You sounded distant on the phone. Sounds so far away. When you're talking, I still stare at the clock for the 20 minutes to pass, watching every second. I mustn't do it. I should just close my eyes and talk and enjoy it. No, don't call me every day. If you miss a day, I'll start worrying. Lewis caught the end of the news yesterday. Said, is that where you were? I said yes, but you were fine. He wasn't to worry. Lewis, every night for six months. Will my daddy be all right? Will he come home? Yes, Lewis, he'll be fine. Of course he'll come home. To see you. And the baby. Yes, and the baby. And you, Mummy. Yes, and me. Very soon. Very, very soon. Russian dolls in the heat of July. Waiting. Waiting. Lewis, you be a good boy today and I'll be back after dinner to get you. That's it. And a nice kiss for the baby. Wow, look at how fat I am. Hello. Adam? Adam! Oh, for God's sake, why didn't you say anything? I thought I'd keep you guessing. You had me worried. Did you think I was dead? Of course I didn't. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Trick to play on a pregnant woman. Would you care? Might do. I'd have to find another job. <laughs> You'd be gutted. Other people would be glad of my help. How did you sleep? Not too bad. Good. Oh, Diana came again yesterday. You're trying to make me feel guilty. No, but I'm glad it works. Mm. I bet you moan about me to the others. No, you're the only one I don't moan about. Mm, be careful. Sounds like you're saying you need me. If I said I needed you, my life wouldn't be worth living, would it? No. <laughs> you making some tea, then? In my own time. Pull forward. That's right. Not hard enough. Pull! Oh! Sorry. Oh, oh. oh you're not. Oh, be careful. Look at the size of you. Well, not you as well. I'm fine. I've still got two months. I'll go and get some breakfast. Don't go anywhere. Uh, Claire? Hmm? Where could I go? Damn. Sorry. It's all right. Just like making you feel bad. <laughs> Made the something. Hot still, but I'm getting better at coping with it. Glad all's well with the baby. A swim's a good idea. Lewis will like that. There's this kid here. Hangs around us. He's driving us mad. The Yanks had paid him to do some jobs. They went, but he hung around. We told him to go, but he won't. He must only be about ten or so. It makes me think of Lewis. Got the same brown eyes. Maybe you could see Mum again. She loves it when you go there. Writes to me all about it. She says you look really well. Says your hair's shiny. This kid. He says the money's for his mother. Says he buys rice with it. He's a good kid, really, I suppose. Next time, can you get more biscuits? Ginger nuts and custard creams. <laughs>